Welcome to Irie AT, Braille and Innovation. Hi guys, Cody here again with the Irie AT Training Center, Tiger Software Suite Tutorial 2, Setting Up Your Tiger Profile. In this tutorial, we will be demonstrating how to set up your Braille settings, such as your top and binding margins, as well as your preferred Braille tables. Alright guys, so before we set up our Tiger Profile, you're going to want to have installed and activated your Tiger Software Suite software. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and check out the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen, which will show you how to do just that. All right, now that we have the software installed and activated, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up Microsoft Word, to set up our Tiger profile. Go ahead and type out Word, hit enter. All right, so now that we're in Microsoft Word, go ahead and zoom out a little bit. You'll notice that we have a Tiger add-in in the toolbar of the Word menu. So when I select the Tiger add-in, I get a bit of a sub-menu down below, which has a few different groups to choose from. We're going to choose the first group in here, which is the Profile Settings group, because we're going to be setting up the Tiger profile. We'll cover the other groups in our future tutorials, but for now we're going to stick with just this one. So you'll notice in the Profile Settings group, within here, we have a few options, such as your profile itself with a drop down, And in here, it's gonna be default as your first option because we don't have any other profiles set up yet. We also have the ability to create a profile, import a profile, delete a profile, and export a profile. So if we want to adjust the settings of the current profile, which we have selected here is our default profile, we're going to select a little icon in the lower right hand corner of the profile settings group, which is the profile settings dialog box. Go ahead and open that up. Now within here, you'll notice that we have a few different tabs to choose from. The first tab is your braille settings. The second tab is your ink settings. The third tab is your page layout. And the fourth tab is your document settings. So we're under the braille settings here. The first drop down you have in here is your choose language setting and so we have our default language selected you also have the ability to choose up to three different languages or translate three different languages simultaneously depending on the font that you have selected for each language and we will be covering that stuff in future tutorials as well so for now we're going to just select our default language and then down below we have additional drop downs for the default language we have our default language itself which I have selected here as English Unified. Of course, you have tons of other languages in here to choose from, as well as English British and English American. We're gonna stick with the Unified for now. Directly below the language dropdown, we have a default Braille type dropdown in which we can select grade one or uncontracted, grade two, standard contracted. We also have computer Braille, dot plus, dot plus expert, and eight dot computer Braille as well. We're gonna go ahead and just stick with uncontracted for now. And then you'll notice below we have a default translatable font dropdown as well. And by default, any is selected, which means any font that we have selected within Word will translate into grade one English unified. This is important to note when we are doing the translation of multiple languages where we would switch maybe English to Arial. And then if we wanted to translate Spanish as well, we could set the font to Calibri for Spanish if we wanted to. We also have an additional drop down below there, which is your math braille type drop down. And we have a few different options in here, but most commonly probably here, we're gonna be using either Nemeth or UEB. So I'm gonna select UEB as my math code. You also have a few other checkboxes in here, which you can have not translated or you can have preserved, if you will. So you have the ability to remove capitals, produce jumbo braille, preserve italics, preserve bold, preserve underline, as well as preserve our hyphenations. Now that we have our braille settings selected, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the ink settings in here as well. So by default, I have no ink selected. Print braille, screen font, or interline original text. I get the ability to adjust the ink font style or name, the ink font size, as well as the ink text position. So of course, if you have an embosser that is capable of producing ink and braille or also known as interline printing, this software will do just that. But for most people using just a standard embosser that doesn't produce both ink and braille, 
What this is nice for is it actually gives you a visual reference when you're translating. So for example, maybe you are not able to read Braille or aren't able to pick up the Braille characters that are being displayed on your screen. This will actually lay print in with the Braille characters on screen to give the sighted individual a bit of a visual reference for formatting. Now that we have our ink settings selected, we can then go to page layout. So the first option in here is your printer setup. And then you're gonna to wanna to of course select your printer that you're going to be using. We're gonna be setting up the Braille Track 120 today. The next thing we're gonna do is set up the page. So we're gonna to wanna to select our paper size. So within here, I have 11 and a half by 11 inch selected, as well as portrait orientation. And then below there you have your margins. And so one thing to note with TSS is that rather than doing your margins in characters per line, it's actually measured in inches. So by default, we have one half inch from your left margin. You also have one half inch from your top margin, which seems to work quite well for the default settings. Of course, you can adjust them if you like, depending on whether you have holes for binding your paper or, or whatnot. So once you've set your margins and your paper size, we're gonna then select document settings. And within here, you have a few additional options. You have the ability to translate a header within a document, remove headers, because maybe it's got some logos in there or something that, that might not translate too well the ability for no change, as well as clear. And you also have the same options for your footers. You also have the ability to show original page numbers, print odd page numbers only, and have your brailled document saved as a new file. You also are able to adjust the braille line spacing with here. Single, one and a half, up to double. We're gonna go ahead and select single for now. Now, once you have all your settings adjusted within here, you're gonna to wanna to first select apply in the lower right hand corner of the dialog box to apply your settings and then you're going to want to select save and there you go folks you have now set up your tiger profile in your tiger software suite software don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel either to stay up to date on our latest videos and content thanks again for watching tutorial 2 on how to set up your tiger profile within the tiger software suite for windows Make sure to also check out tutorial 3 on how to input, translate, and emboss text from within the software.